Hello, I'm Rick Morgan, consultant with the Franchise Consulting Company. At a recent Zoom networking meeting, I was asked to state one word that defined maybe the past several years or a good portion of my life. And that word was resilience. And I didn't hesitate because a few weeks ago, I had to write a keynote speech, a 22 minute speech for a Toastmaster project. And I focused on, on resilience. Let me tell you why that one word is such meaning to me. In that speech, I gave a couple of personal experiences and supported those personal experiences with other keynote speeches regarding resilience that really motivate me. So let me try to summarize that in a short video. So my story of resilience really covers the last six years. Well, not only covers the last six years, but let me focus on that. And that was going from the W-2 world to a world of 100% commission. And that meant learning a complete new skill set. So that, that was a, that's a story of resilience because six years later, I'm still at it, trying to improve every day. Now, in the speech, I also recognize that you just can't wake up one day saying, I'm going to be resilient and go, go after it. You have to think deep. I thought deep about what were the hurdles, the, the fears, the things I don't like doing that I have to get used to and practice and improve and be comfortable with over time. So I did get to the point of being able to make 20 phone calls in a day and just search for that one yes and people want to do it the next day, that's fine. But it was really recognizing those demons of that's preventing re re resilience. Then I supported my speech with three keynote speeches that really, really affect me. And I want to share those three with you. And I, I invite you to Google them. I think you'll find them motivating too. That first one was from the 1993 SB Awards, where the basketball coach Jim Valvano, struggling but battling cancer, uttered, stated the what I consider the seven most important words in sports history to be, don't give up, don't ever give up. And that one was followed by a 2014 same award show. The, the award winner was Stuart Scott, the winner of the Jim Valvano Courage Award, who repeated those same seven pointed words and gave his own story. Then the third motivation, motivating speech that I really enjoy and brought into to my experience was Oprah Winfrey's 2018 commencement speech at USC's Marshall School of Journalism and Communication where she challenged the graduating class not only to bet on yourself, but to double down. So if you're ever feeling like you're up against the wall, Google those, watch them. Those what are three speeches that impacted me and keep me going and keep me being resilient. Thank you, Rick Morgan, consultant with the Franchise Consulting Company.